former Prime Minister of uh, Slovakia, Eveta Radičova. Good morning, Your Excellency. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you for your interest. We are very happy to have you uh, today in the Ecosystems uh, 2030 conference and uh, would like uh, to know uh, from you all the stuff regarding the AI and the, the subjects in this uh, conference. Your Excellency, if I'll ask you about the trends and business uh, of ecosystems, do you see developing uh, in the future as a result of uh, the exponential technologies over the next five to ten years? What do you mm. say about this? They can be very uh, Short and brief answer, yes. Yes, <laughs> yes. But if I can use two more sentences, um, we are really facing rapid, dramatic technological revolution. Mm -hmm. Compare it, industrial revolution has happened during the life of four generations. Yeah. These have happened during the life of one generation. Exactly. And involved are our grandfathers and mothers, yeah. we, our children, and our grandchildren. Yeah. Uh, so really, we'll, uh, our lives mm. are more and more involved and implement and influenced yeah. by new technologies. Okay. Your Excellency, uh, what opportunities do you see uh, arising as a result of these trends and uh, technologies for the individuals and the societies? It's not an easy question to be open mm -hmm. because as each new phenomena, each new thing always have pluses and minuses. Okay. Two sides uh, of the same uh, coin. coin exactly. uh, the positives are uh, visible and clear. Mm -hmm. Look what kind of enormous modernization uh, we uh, can face in healthcare systems, okay. diagnosis, surgery, etc. Enormous. Okay. Uh, on another side, we are facing creation of hmm, loneliness. Okay. Uh, we are close to our own bubbles okay. with the people who have the same attitudes, same emotions, not to have opposite okay. uh, attitude. Uh, therefore, uh, we are more divided yeah. because of new technologies than we were before. So social cohesion, which is the platform okay. for happiness, yeah. is really under the crisis. Okay, and this is a risk in your opinion, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, what challenges do you see um, arising uh, as a result of these uh, trends, Yanni? How can we overcome these challenges? First, huh. we need the, uh, to know what is the challenges and how can we treat with that? Yeah, <laughs> you haven't really sh uh, short answer to the <laughs> question, uh, but I, I really try to simplify it. First of all, uh, we have to trust that those who are authors of algorithm okay. are really doing this because they have to help to have our lives much quality, much better, to feel much comfortable. Okay. But how to trust? Mm. Um, it's not enough that somebody is saying to you that trust me. Okay, exactly. You have to verify it. Yeah. Who is a liar, who not? And we don't know it. We don't know we it. We don't know it. We don't know it. And this is the major risk okay. we are facing. Okay. So without the procedures, we can fact checking. Okay. and see and understand the sources mm. and see and understand why somebody is creating these new technologies for what, okay. for which aim, then we are at real risk yeah. that we are misused. Okay. And this, I think, is the major risk. Yeah. And the part here, maybe the responsibility is on the countries uh, the government um, uh, and the public and the private sector all together. But in the first place, uh, the governments are responsible to secure people from this uh, technologies, uh, from the unethical acts uh, or uh, behavior or hackers, whatever you name it. Uh, what do you think the, the role of them and how can they really secure their people? 
Ah, they, they have a duty to do it. Yeah, they have. A uh, state which is not uh, capable to guarantee security for the people has no sense. Okay. Uh, so, but how to regulate? How to regulate? How to regulate? This is very important. Uh, we had very good uh, example when we had started to regulate mass media. Okay. Yeah. Because it was the first time uh, to go mass. mass to go to the mass. Yeah. And immediately when TV and radio has started, there was regulation. Yes. This is against human rights. This you cannot perform. Okay. Point. Okay. And there is agreement and nobody argued that it, it is against uh, the right of, of freedom of speech, etc. Okay. No, because it is not. Okay. So because it's regulated. Yeah. Okay. So the same oh. we have to use, I am absolutely sure, mm -hmm. to the uh, part of the world which is totally unregulated. Okay. Uh, because another effect of this situation is that we have created discrimination. Exactly. There are regulated media and unregulated media. media. Exactly. Uh, they cannot compete. Okay. So they uh, <laughs> haven't the same position. Mm. So to regulate this public sphere with the same regulations as it was to mass media, I think is absolutely correct. Okay. But to be open, sometimes it's too late. We have lost the time. Okay. Uh, we don't have time. We, we haven't time. Mm. We have no minute. Okay. Uh, more graph, if you look, exponential uh, growth okay. of technologies. Okay. We, each two years, it grew up rapidly. Yeah. So what we are waiting for? We haven't two years. Let's start. We haven't two minutes. Wow. We have to do it. Now. No. <laughs> I want to thank you so much, uh, Your Excellency, the former Prime Minister of uh, Slovakia, Evita Radichova. Thank you so much for this interesting uh, interview. Thank you. I thank you very much for your interest.